Alrighty, so Ghost, while being flung through the air by Manly Machismo, she tries to swing around and bite at you. <laughs> bite at me? Or... No, Manly okay. Machismo. Oh my god. <laughs> A negative one. <laughs> okay, that fails. She just licks my hand instead. <laughs> Not a chance in hell for Ghost. <laughs> she pulls a bit like cats do when they don't know what something is and then they like bring back their arm. And there's that one video where this cat was like poking at a sock and then just leaps off the person's desk. <laughs> Jesus. Cats are weird. Mm. Zan Yin, you're up. I'm gonna finish off this little kitty. As he, he thinks to himself, as he like, he he twirls around once again. He spins his uh, he spins his pistol around in his finger, uh, twirls it around, and then unloads once again. He st he 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 wants to finish things off with his gun. He's it, it's good practice for him. Mm. Uh, guns. Yeah, I'll use a fortune. Yikes. Okay. The defense is 12. That's the number to beat with these things. 12, 16, difference of 4. 4 plus 9, 13. 13 minus 6, 7. Yeah. I'm bad at maths. Boom. It was Demon you were firing on, right? Yes. Yeah, Ghost is the one that John and Manly Machismo are currently tussling with. Alright, that moves you back to shot number two. Demon, uh, once again, growls angrily, sprints, across, sprints back, trying to close the gap with you, and is going to try and pin you. Oh dear. It's gonna roll. <laughs> My boss fights. This is uh, so he brings he launches up his uh, his arm just in defense and then like just swings her off. Yeah, he basically swat a snow leopard away. I like almost butt it with the end of my gun, not to damage, but it's sort yeah. of like to hit them away back away. What happens is the it, a snow leopard flies away and smashes into a supporting pole of an awning for one of the huts, which then collapses. Yes. Demon is covered in wooden rubble. And you just see Snow Leopard's face just kind of like poke out of the rubble and look around like, did I just fucking embarrass myself? Somehow a Snow Leopard conveys that emotion. And then growls once more. Yes. <laughs> Alright, which one of you two wishes to go first? Patrick can go first. I'll go first uh, then. Alright, the mooks all attack. I'm perfect. No, but, uh. John is like in the middle, like, oh shit. Do I still have the rope on me, or did they, did it tug it away? No, you're still holding on if you wish to be. It's just um, that it's currently in the, it's currently in the snow leopard's mouth, and the snow leopard is being flung around by manly machismo. <laughs> Uh, has it dropped it? Because no, know. it went to bite, but it somehow held on to the to the rope. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna leave the rope. So he has insane rain. Uh, let's see now. What else is here? Okay, I'm in the basically in the middle of the thing. What is around me? Am I surrounded or? Uh, the 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 center of the village is quite open. There's a sh particularly sharp chip of ice. There's a car again. There's the well, which has a bucket in it. Ah. Of course there's a bucket in it. <laughs> there's yeah. always a bucket. There's always a goddamn bucket. Why wouldn't there be? <laughs> Is there a dude near the bu well? Is it a shit bucket? Yes, there's a dude near the well. Fuck it, I'm... John, is... John is gonna do a fr... run up and do a flying kick. Hopefully he'll kick him down the well. Do it. Uh, I really want this to su su succeed, so one fortune die. You're doing this to kill one mook, and it fails. Actually, no, <laughs> does it fail? I'm sorry. 
I gotta remember my mook my mook defense. I'm oh it fails. <laughs> John just shot America kill shit <laughs> You Do fly I... over the well and land on the opposite end. No No You have no idea what just happened there for me. Uh, I thought uh, my computer froze and everybody just went e <laughs> One. That's good. So, uh, was it like one attack, three, three shots? Yes. Okay. And even though you're on shot one, you can make an attack, which Perfect. is a three shot action. So you're still in the game, basically. Manly Machismo. Yes. I am going to grab the rope, over which um, the which um, ghost is still grabbing onto. And basically, what I'm going to do is swing, swing Ghost around in a big circle and smash, smash Ghost through several buildings in a big circle. Go for it. Let's do this. The number to beat is 12. Oh, boy. As you um, go to swing, just as momentum is picking up, Ghost lets go of the rope. She flies through the air and lands on top of one of the huts. Son of a gun. I knew you were a good prey, I say to it. Right, oh. That puts you on shot one. Oh, boy. Okay, shot one. Let's go to Ghost. Ghost, meanwhile, dives back <laughs> off the building and tries to land on Manly Machismo and start biting. Let's roll it. <laughs> Alright, describe your defense against this. I raise up my hand and sort of block it before it goes any further. It's really surprised by this. Yeah, the force of a snow leopard landing on you does nothing. All the momentum is just kind of killed in an instant. Ghost crashes to the ground, gets back up, and assumes a defensive sort of low growl. <laughs> Start stalking around you. So I can... like you. And that puts Ghost on shot one. No, you're, you're on shot one, so wouldn't that just put her off the chart? Yeah. Yeah, because it's free. It's free. Yep. Ghost off the chart. As for the rest of the mooks. Alright, the first three are going to go for John. It's us. <laughs> oh no! Seven, seventeen, and a ten. Okay, my... Your defense is 15. Yeah. Alright, so two arrows, like, fly past you as you dive over the well. They miss. Oh. One of them clangs off the bucket, making a loud ding. One of them, on the other hand, the one you tried to drop kicks, sees that, circles around the well, and just is laughing at you as he draws his blade and sinks it into your leg before you can stand up. Oh! You take 12 damage minus your toughness of 6. So, 6 damage. So, I just put that into wound points? Yep. John is like, ah, oh, my leg! If any of you go above 35 wound points, tell me, because that's when things start getting a bit hairy. Is yes. that a gaining pyramid at 25 and 30? Yeah, I know, but 35 is when you start taking marks of death. Okay. And, and bloody. Oh, okay. Okay, that's three mooks. That's three mooks out of seven. Uh, two are trying decide to try and engage Zanyin in a gunfight. The smartest thing they could do. Eight and a five shots run wild. The remaining two try to sink arrows into Manly Machismo. Ten and a fourteen. One connects for basically no damage. Yeah, no damage. An arrow bounces off of you. Oh god. <laughs> Everyone... Yes, see this. And the mooks are off the chart. Alright, Zan Yin. Demon, d Demon is in the rubble right now. Getting ready to pounce back out at you. I don't, I don't really have much build up for this. So, pretty much Zan just sort of uh, takes his gun, checks the amount of bullets, puts the clip back in, 
and then he like raises up his like he, he raises up his arm slow motion style and begins to pull the trigger bang 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 just into the just into the rubble oi yes pretty much it's just slowly slowly like it shows you like the clip is like what's that top of the bit of the pistol that um the barrel goes back the barrel oh yeah, the slide. Barrel, the bar yeah it like goes back back and forth until no bullets are left and then the slide is completely uh, uh, at, at the end of his pistol he just lets the clip stop uh slide out you do 10 damage Pretty brutal, yeah. Several shots hit Demon. Demon responds in kind. Demon dives out. Don't be so mean towards the old the tigers. I say yes, I cuddle. I say yes, my cat is biting my hand. Which yeah. does not connect. What do you do as Demon launches out of the rubble towards you? It failed. It failed. Yes. So, Describe your kick. defense. Swift kick to push it, uh, push the cat kitty back. Yeah, it dives out and it's just sent flying back into the rubble. It's very harsh on these snow leopards. I'm feeling bad for putting them here now. This is why they're like uh, endangered. <laughs> the Environmental Protection Act hasn't been enforced yet. So that puts uh, both Zan and Demon off the charts. Oh, can I go first then? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. I'm on one. No, 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 you're off the chart. It, you know, because two minus three. Oh, it's myself. minus one. Put myself here. <laughs> uh. But yeah, so that dude stabbed his sword into me, yeah? Yep. I'm like, oh my god, ow, ow. And I, I, I gotta use my other leg to basically kind of kick and scoop him to basically fall into the well. <laughs> Go for <laughs> it. I, I'm, fuck it, I'm not in another fortune because I want this How to How many do you have left? Uh, fortune. Now six. Oh boy. 18 connects though. <laughs> Alright, the thing is, with all mooks at this point in the game, I'm just going to tell you the number you want to beat is 13. That's always oh. the case with mooks. Okay. So, yeah, he's out. You just, alright, describe what happens, because yeah, you yeah, scoop him. Yeah, no, it's it kind of like a reaction. As he stabs it, I shout, Ow, oh, bitch, son of a bitch. And like, my other leg goes up, and... Conveniently, it goes up between his legs, so he gets, you know, it's not it's not a lovely ride for him. Yeah. But my leg keeps going for upwards, like bending forward, and he just keeps following and get, just gets scooped into the fucking um, into the fountain, and it, as he shouts and falls down, as he tumbles into the well. Yeah, you don't understand the Chinese for son of a bitch, but it makes <laughs> it across as it descends. Son of a bitch. The same to you! And then there is a wet crash. <laughs> Sus. Manly Machismo. Um, I am going to go after Ghost Still. I assume it's still the uh, still thing. Yep. Alright. Oh no, wait. You, you say on top of the thing, you were cutting. Right. Oh, sorry. Um, it's still um, it's still on ground level with me. Yeah, yeah. Is it jump back down? All right. I'm going to punt it through the building. <laughs> yep. Right. Let's do this. That does connect. Nice. That does connect. So ten damage. Ten damage. Eleven damage. Nice. No, no, no. 12 damage, minus 5, 7 damage. Yeah. And do you know what else happens? That building... Yeah. Ex that building was filled with fireworks. <laughs> you kick it through and a spark is set off. And now there are explosions and buildings are getting set on fire around it. 
Several of the mooks, like, run to take new positions away from the building as a fucking snow leopard is sent careening through them. On fire. On fire. Nice. Yeah, Ghost is now on fire. That wasn't the case until you said it, but yes. <laughs> hey, snow leopard, you're pretty hot. And uh, that's me. <laughs> yeah, you're on fire. <laughs> All right. Just Time? remember, I'm number one. <laughs> right. So, initiative? Initiative, yep, yep, yep. Initiative, here we go, sons. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Click. Alright, demon on 12. Initiative. Ghost on 8. Uh, no. Let's try again. Ah, why does it not, why does it not come up? Oh, there we go. Uh, mine said 13. Yep. Oh, God so damn, you go to 13. Seven. Yeah. Yep. You're pretty fast. They're on 8. We're all moving in tandem with Ghost. Alright, yeah. So, Zan, an overview of the situation. One just got put kicked into a well. Demon is back in the rubble and is bleeding profusely, but still trying to still snapping at you. Ghost several fireworks just went off and there are explosions happening in the sky overhead and above. The Pai Meng and his men at the car are not entering the fight. They're kind of standing back amazed at everything that just happened. <laughs> uh I have a question. Is there like a tally for bullets, or do I never run out or something? Or um, now we're on sequence two. You roll a reload check. Yes. Yeah, your reload is five. That means you roll one d six after your next shot. And uh, what's the number? What's the third number along on your gun? Five. That means you've got to be. I think it's a roll. A roll above. So with because you got a revolver, that means uh, yeah. So if you roll a six, that means you don't have don't have to reload. But basically, once you reload, you don't have to do it again for the whole sequence. So one round at a shot counter. It mm. makes sense once we've practiced it a bit, but you know. Right. Basically, after your next shot, roll a single d6, and if it is a six, you don't have to reload. All right. Yeah. Because bullets are kind of abstracted in this. Yes. Yep. So, I have just like loads of clips in my jacket. Yeah, I've decided that despite being in the 1850, ammo is not going to be a problem. Yes. He just, just has it. Yeah. yeah, it's an action movie. You have as many bullets as you it'll, need. It'll take a shotgun shell and he'll cram it into the clip of his gun and it will still work. Yep. Uh, so, my, <laughs> my guy just sees the he he sees the demon, demon himself, just uh, wants to put it out as a misery, even though it was mostly his fighting that had caused all the damage. But he don't he doesn't want to suffer, doesn't want the thing to suffer. He's gonna take he take his coal. He's gonna need to reload. All right. He take takes his clip, flips it in his hand, uh, slides into a clip. He sort of. Uh, just takes his uh, gun with one hand and then brings it towards the temple, hopefully the temple of demon. Do 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 do. And that then connects. Then you said roll a d6. Yeah, just a single d6. You have to reload. Reloading That's... takes. Oh my god. I can't believe I have to check this. A series of turns or actions? Um, reload costs, reload costs. I got it written down. A revolver takes five shots to reload on top of what you just did. I thought mine was a pistol. Oh, never mind. No, sorry. I'll yeah, so a cult detective is a revolver. Uh, yeah. Yikes. Okay, so that'll take you down to shot ten and then to right, shot so, five so, to reload. So... I've been saying clip this whole time. Chamber. I mean, clip well, could still be the same thing, yeah. But well, actually, oh god, I'm gonna get fucking gun nut pedantic now. It's a, <laughs> with a revolver. It's a cylinder. A cylinder. Yeah. And I know, I know, if people watched the videos uploaded, I'd be corrected again because I'm probably wrong. 
So it's you now have gun. options. You either reload and go down to shot five, or you pull out your shotgun. Or is that a shotgun or is that a, r a rifle? Now I'm not certain. It's really up to you. Do you want to reload and take that? Yes. All right. That I'll still push... keep into it. I'll still I'll I'll keep calling it. Um... It's an action movie. It can be a pistol Clip. if it needs to be. The real yes. thing is, with a pistol, it's not a clip, it's a magazine. That's the thing that annoys me. I, I guess so, yeah, magazine, that was it. I kept saying clip. A clip is something that feeds bullets into a gun, a magazine is inserted. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Anyway, so you're going down to shot five, then. Okie doke. So yeah, you take the time to reload. So you fire, and it does not kill demon. So it was a 9-11. 9-11 nine, uh, minus... I've got to memorize these. Alright, so 6 damage. So it's still pretty bad. That is still pretty bad on its... Like, this thing is on its last legs, clearly. In fact, for Demon's turn, I'm just going to say Demon cheeses it. Hmm. Oh no! Because it's like I'm done, but... Basically, when someone cheeses it, it's in a. If you want to not let it escape, it's an opposed speed. If you want to just let it go, then just let it go. It's just a wee little tiger. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I can do anything else, so. Five. Okay, so basically, if you wanted to catch it and not let it escape, five is what you got to beat before the sequence is over. My way, demon is just off the charts now. Sus. Manly Machismo. Yes. Uh, a f flaming ghost. Yes. Yeah, a flaming ghost jumps back, uh, like dives through, back through the hut as several fireworks launch past her. She is now a flame. Her fur is going off. Skin is being exposed, quite badly burnt already. But she is still very pissed off at you. Right, time to go for it. I'm going to grab her jaw, or jaw, and then slam her into the ground. Let's no mercy. God damn. Yep. All right, roll it. I got. I should remind myself every time I think about the concept of mercy that this group once sledgehammered someone's mother as a golf ball. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. We did. Um, we did. Yeah, 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 Swede did anyway. Hello, I remember that now. So that's ten damage. Oh yeah, plus um, is this still establishing shots or? No, isn't that the around. first of an? Is that the? Oh no, oh, no, you... no, it's first of a fight. Not, okay. Not, not a round. Not a sequence. All right, yeah, so and plus three. Plus so three yeah, any successful martial arts strike. Yeah, like unarmed is typically seven, so that's why it's ten in your oh, case. Right. So that's five damage overall. Excellent. She. Yeah. She is slammed into the ground, but she just pushes back up and is, yeah, still in the fight. God damn. That moves you, that moves you to shot eight, so you can go right away again. All right, let's do this. After I do that, I am going to, um, I, I am just going, going to um, roar at it and then headbutt it. So that's another martial art. <laughs> okay, so that's seven damage. <laughs> still alive, still growling at you. God damn. Ghost, you just headbutted it. Ghost goes for your neck. Tough kitty. I mean. Actually, yeah. that's impairment at this point, so this is minus one as well, but <laughs> still 21. Alright, so your defense is 12. So that's nine points, so that's 19 damage minus your toughness of 12. Okay, so... That's 19 damage minus 12. Uh, That's seven damage. seven damage. That's the first time any damage has been done to you, 
as she doesn't get the center of the neck, you pull away in time, but a chunk of the side of your neck oh, is taken. Oh, oh okay. I, I had done two root points already, so on nine points. Oh, okay. Nine points of damage. So it does prove Manly Machismo can bleed, at the <laughs> least. <laughs> you may be bleed by your own blood. You may still be human, yet. Yet. We don't know for sure. It's also said that he has acid for blood. Alright, there are three of you and six of them, so I'm going to split the attacks three ways, left to right on the shot counter. So first two Manly Machismo, second two John, and finally Zen. None of them hit. In fact, one of them rolled a minus seven. Mooks fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> Arrows are flying all over the village. One grabs a fucking firework before it goes off and points it in your direction. This is the Mook who rolled a minus seven. The firework explodes in his hand. One of the Mooks successfully blew himself up, in as far as that can be called a success. Oh, gosh. Ghost is down to shot number five. As are you, Manly Machismo, because you attacked. Yep, just forming a conga line. Oh, sorry. Uh, you need to. Which shot am I down to again? Five, uh, you know, minus three for each attack. Oh, yes. To get in the line. Alright, okay, I'll put myself here. Okay. So, John Hattrick Smith. Yes. There are explosions everywhere. Demon is running away. Ghost is on fire. And locks in a, a battle. From, and I have a fucking sword in my leg. From the two-story building, now on fire, hit by a stray firework, you can hear screaming from inside the building. Uh-oh. Well, John is just gonna... Um, um... I'll take this bucket! Oh, dear. Uh, Never a sentence you want to hear. Um, it does it have water in it. If it needs to. Yes, it has water in it. Great. Well, <laughs> he's like... Actually, is there anyone around me, or...? Um, the fighting is mainly going on around the buildings to the left of you. They're a few paces away, but you can make the distance. Yes, the sword is out of my leg, by the way. Of you, course, you, yeah. Movie continuity error. What are you going to do with that bucket? I don't know. I'm not sure, actually. I haven't taken it as improvised weapon just yet. Actually, I'll take it as his provised weapon. That moves I'll... you down to shot six, so you can still yeah. move first, basically. So yeah, you now have a bucket. Is there someone in front of me? Like, someone just... runs in front of you, seeing you grab the bucket. Well, oh shit, I'm like... Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna... Shit, <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, using the bucket and putting it on... Like, slamming it over his head. <laughs> Remember, plus one. Yep. <laughs> this one, yeah. He runs up to you and goes, Hey, I want that buck smash! There you go. And that's one <laughs> mook off the table. Why did he want that bucket? <laughs> what? Why did he want that bucket? You didn't give him time to elaborate. <laughs> Does he tumble into the well? I don't know. He tumbles into the well. Yeah, and bucket explodes. with the bucket, like it's on his head. He doesn't know where he is, and then just suddenly falls down. That moves you down to shot number three. Okay, I'm gonna say in this case, Zan goes first. So is Ghost in the well? No, no, that was one of the mooks. Okay. So, load I've loaded my gun, right? Yeah, yeah. So, having loaded his gun, he 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 limits. Right now, time for you. As he remembers, ghost. He turns around towards uh towards where he is, coughs to hopefully get his attention. Hey, you, ghost on fire, growling at Manly Machismo, turns and faces you. Eat this! And he take, places both his hands on his gun and, and 
uh, no, cocking, we were... cocking, cocking it? You were going, uh, but... <laughs> well, <laughs> with, a revol <laughs> with a revolver, you, you pull the hammer back. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Pulls the hammer back and uh, yells out, Eat this! And he just fires. Dead set into the... Uh, dead set into the side of him. Uh, fortune. Wow. You... Manly Machismo is going to be pissed. Manly yeah. Machismo has every right to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. That was my kill. So, nine plus seven. There's 16, obviously. Okay. So, 11 damage, Ghost is... Ooh, does Ghost live? 11 minus... I please say he lives. Let's see. Oh, boy. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. One hit point left. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> mm. Interesting. <laughs> With one hit point. Yeah, Ghost stumbles, um, lets out a horrible, piteous whine of pain, but then, kind of like, leg shaking, gets back up and continues to growl at Manly Machismo. I, I just look upon it with sadness in my eyes and go... And I, I just glare at Sanyan. That was This was my fight. Now I shall finish it. <laughs> there we go. I, I just, I just calmly. First, I calmly pet Ghost, and I say, "You have been a been a worthwhile opponent." Now I'm going to uppercut it. Yeah, respect for the soon to be dead. <laughs> go for it. Misses. No way. Um, plus three. Remember? Oh yeah, you. Can. No, that's on no. damage. Oh. You pet it and. Ghost stops for a second. She accepts the petting and stops growling for a second. Then when you relinquish for the uppercut, she darts backwards. And now it's her turn. On fire, as you're in the air, she once she dives back up for one final attack. And this is at a minus one, I'll add, but... Fuck it. 14. <laughs> Damn. It connects to do t to do twelve damage, which uh, is nothing to you. You take none. But still, it's a worthwhile attempt. For just for the sake of this is an honorable opponent, can I say that Ghost basically actually manages to push you backwards in midair, for whatever it's worth for the fake animal's pride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pushes you back, but can't land a bite. You both land back on the ground. Ghost immediately gets back into a into a stance, ready to pounce. I imagine you land on your feet, ready for another attack. Yeah. And you're both down to shot number two. Yes. And the form and the two mooks decide to let Ghost and Manly Machismo. Oh, oh sorry. Um, what um, what shot am I on again? Oh, he shot two. Yeah. Manly Mc... Alright. As for these four mooks, two for John, two for Zan. Let's see if... Oh my god. They all miss. In fact, an there was another minus seven. Fantastic. I wonder what the mass is on the fucking generator they use for that, because that is even worse than usual. But either way, they're on shot two. Right. John. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, there's two mo mooks uh, with near me, right? Yeah, they charge at you with the sword with swords drawn, and both of them missed. <laughs> How did you defend yourself from these two mooks? Um, let's see. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm just gonna do a classical trying to slam their heads together. Uh, so a minus two. 
trying to attack two at once. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, add a fortune. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> they vote. All right, describe what happens. Basically, they, oh. they run towards me, but I slink between them. Then I turn, like, you know, basically I go between them as they charge me. And I turn around, grab their heads, and bonk them together. <laughs> That's about it. Make a fortune check. Oh, why? Just make a fortune check with whatever your remaining fortune is. So it's just clicking on a die then? Yep. And... That passes. A firework shoots past where you were a second ago. Oof! That takes you off the shot order though. Uh, not the firework, the attack. Damn. Alright, shot number two. Uh, which one of you two wants to go first? Let's roll. Right. Uh, uh, I'll roll a two. Heads is you. Tails. Oh, wait, no, I actually rolled two. <laughs> Why is a two in this... In this example, I mean, what is the heads in this D2? Well, oh. well, there we go. Uh, I, yeah, you can go first, it's alright. So, uh, uh, as he's been through doing this with just his uh, cult, he, he's going to take a change of pace. He's going to stall towards Ghost, running head on. He takes a large leap. And he's about to swing, karate kick, full swing his leg around, uh, spin kicking ghost right to the face. That'll be martial artist. I'll just do it normally. Wait, uh, there we go. That misses. He flies right past, uh, just about catching himself on the fall as he uh, he turns his head up and then. Uh, brings himself back to his uh, back to standing position, still holding his colt by his side. He is shocked that this is this is missed. Damn! Like Ghost, like is fully focused on Manly Machismo, but it takes the but she takes the time to like dart when you go for her. Right now it's go time. I let out a massive roar to the sky, and I charge head first. And I say, so Umgos does the same, and I just gotta just simply slam, punch it in the face as hard as I can. Go for it. Let's do this. We're gonna spend a fortune for this. That connects, and that finishes the job. Oh, shit, so describe what happens. Uh, basically, um... Basically, we all let out like one final roar, and um, and basic basically we all sort of lunge for each other at the same time. Everything is in slow motion. And then you just hear, and just as Ghost is about to bite bite Manny McKissimo's neck for a killing blow, oh, you just hear this crunch as a massive punch just like ripples through, and shockwaves just ripple through the whole ground. Everyone can see it, and then the Ghost just like collapses to the ground dead. And then you see in slow motion, Manny McKissimo turns to his compatriots and everyone else and he's shedding a single tear. For a worthy opponent. Yep. <laughs> yep, Ghost is out of there. And since no one tried to stop it, Demon is gone by this point. Ooh. The two mooks are not going to give up that easily though. I don't okay. think. One foot, alright, one attacks Manly, one attacks Zen. Let's see how they do. Wow, they both fail. <laughs> Fantastic. They both draw swords and charge you. Their swings go wild. Alrighty then. So, um, everyone just roll an attack. There's only two mooks left. There's four of you. It's us. 
Have you ever played the Persona games? All out attack. No. Yeah, yeah, it's just an all out attack, basically. <laughs> Ten. Every, yeah. Um. Swede. Yeah. Roll an attack. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> one mook goes down, an all out attack, and one mook is left standing. Okay, yeah. I just... That didn't quite go as I... I hope that would just kill them. The mook is on turn 8. I don't know roll, why. Initi roll initiative. He's not go... He's not... He's not giving up. He was loyal. Loyal to Corrupting Hill. Loyal to the Snow Leopards. Oh god. <laughs> this one mook, this one man, will stand against tyranny. Or stand for tyranny, as the case may be. Is Manly Machismo going to join in the fray for one last punch? Yes. Yes, I am. Let's do this. Oh, energy. Sorry. Uh, exactly there. Okay. Oh, Zan Yin. One mook stands alone. Sword drawn, bow and arrow slung round his back. He's panting heavily as his last several swings at you have missed. All uh, his comrades are dead. The village that he was tro that he looted was on fire. Zan there is Yin. screaming from the two-story building, and he looks at you. Zan Yin twirls his gun and slots it back into the holster behind his, uh, into his jacket on his uh, back. Uh, he decides to take this on the best way he knows by using his training in martial arts. <laughs> as he as he evaded these attempts at an attack at him, he decides to take this out the best way he can. He takes a step back and he runs and is going to do a somersault kick. It misses. <sighs> He darts to the side and takes a slash at the air where you were a second ago. Oh, he just collects himself and lands down, uh, using a hand to balance himself as he brings himself back to his feet once again. That puts Damn. you on shot nine. Damn. John. The one mook just dodged past Zanyan's masterful somersault kick. <laughs> John is gonna just throw... Throw a punch in his direction. That connects. Basically, he dodges it, and then John comes there and smacks it, punches him in the face. He collapses back, smacks into the side of a building, and then just slumps over. And that's everyone. Pai Meng runs forward like, holy hell. Not like holy hell. You guys are... competent. Outstanding, even. That man has troubled these lands for a good few months, and you... just slaughtered him. I don't like to admit this, but my father was right to put his trust in you. Ah... Uh. Yeah, you know... I mean, we're just great like that. Sus. There is still screaming coming from the two-story building. The fire on it, on it is spreading pretty quickly. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Right. That wasn't in character, but... Mm. Thinking, what can we... Water. The well. We need to... The bucket. Yes. Or one of us could dive in there and try and rescue them. Uh, oh. Right. Mm. You know what? My sense of justice is tingling. Zan hears these screams and he's going to. Uh, he runs towards the building. He looks. Uh, is the. It, has the doorway been affected? Like. The there is a is large hole in the uh, door that you can see through. 
doesn't affect the hinges or anything. It just a large chunk of it was clearly smashed out at some point. Ooh. Through the uh, building, there is the smoke isn't too thick yet. You can see a family in there. A man, woman, and two children. Hmm. Alright. He's going to dive in. He... Zanyin is going to dive in. Uh, I'm going to leap past the fire and the debris to get inside and help the uh, woman and children. Okie doke. Make me a... Hmm. Uh, it's not... I'm trying to think of the right check for this. In this case, just a task. Just a task. We'll do this yeah, with... A little task. Do a defense check. Like, the building is crumbling, parts are collapsing, you're on uneven ground, and there is fire rising. Yes! Yeah, 22 does it. You dart through there gracefully. Uh, the uh, men, women, and children are bound... Uh, by the ankles and the wrists behind their backs. Hmm. You manage to clear a bit of a way and Pai Meng and several of his men run in, seemingly a bit sheepishly for not joining in on the fight, and help you carry them out before the fire spreads. Uh, the woman keeps muttering, are they dead, are they dead, as you get her out. Yeah, yeah, we... We managed to take care of them. Come on, quick! As he uh, as he helps them uh, up. Uh, they were tied, right? Yeah, bound by the arms and legs. It's uh, untying them out of their place. Uh, so the how many children are with them? Two. Uh, two children. He uh, he takes the one by the hand. Uh, Picks up one of the uh, children with him. Actually, how old are these children? They look to be like eight to nine years old. They're quite oh. young. He holds okay. one of the uh, children uh, beside him uh, for comfort uh, as the other woman uh, holds the other child. He's like, all right, hold on, come with me. And, um, right, how big is the hole? The hole? Uh, the children could squeeze for it easily. It takes the adults a bit more time and effort. I know this sounds weird, but we might need to let the children go out first. The, Are you willing right. to help me out to get them out first? Well, the man doesn't hesitate at all. He get, helps. He gets ready to shove his kid through the hole. Uh, so helping along, Zan Yin. <laughs> Is uh, there anyone else helping in this? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not just one uh, of the hero here. Manly I... Machismo, top tear up the hole. Right, yeah, I'm going to help out for the other side and rip it open, yeah. Make yeah. It easy, make an easy passage to escape. Do I need to roll anything? Strength. Right. It shouldn't be hard for you. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, ripping and tearing should be a specialty. Rip and tear, strength. You strength, mean, strength. for him it should be second nature? Yeah. Oh, boy. It won't budge. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, Manly. Let me... John, try it. If this fucking works. Uh, okay, I guess it doesn't say uh, if what my strength is. On the sheet. Should do. He has strength. Yeah, no, it just says strength, but it does just show the die. Oh, just roll it then. Okay. Um... Because I think okay. in most cases... Fuck it, I'll add a fortune to this, because I was for... Yeah, that does Yeah, that, that does it, actually. The door, the hinges snap. Door <laughs> comes flying off. The wood cracks and splinters. John just goes, like, uh, starts flexing, like, yeah. Yeah. The, um, Pai Meng's men are, like, running back and forth with the one bucket of water, like, they're, they're, like, handing it between each other and quickly trying to douse. Meanwhile, between a lot of you, you pull the door out and manage to get, uh, the family out alive and well. All right. Good work. Is, the... uh, he... Oh, are we, uh, we're still helping them? Oh, no, you're fine. They're, they're out. Right, he, uh... Pants uh, uh, heavily and um, sees to the family. 
uh, you know, the the family, the group that were in there, uh, brings himself to his legs once again and uh, <laughs> coughs a little bit from the smoke. Nice, nice work, all of you. And I hope you all are okay. The, as he uh, turns to the family. They have a look of disbelief on their face. The what? woman starts sobbing. The man says, they told, they told me the rest of the village was still alive. They told me they didn't kill the rest. They said they were just holding us until... Until... And then he looks at Pai Meng, until he arrived. And you notice, no one else seems to acknowledge this. Whenever the man opens his mouth, there is a bright light shining from it. No one else brings attention to it. Ah. Oh. Seemingly only your, you four can see it. Huh. Uh, what? This is so weird. Well, um, yeah, yes. I mean, it was... Uh, and he, he tries to brush it off on the others, not to say anything now. Uh, like, waving his hand from... Yes, well, I mean, we are outsiders, but... We were brought to help you, so it was an honor. I thank you for your help, but more people are dead. Our village is burned. He stays silent. This is not really sure how to react. The children are kind of uns uh, kind of silent. Uh, not sure how to take this in. Uh, the man starts get like starts walking back towards what may have been his hut, and Pai Meng has a kind of uh, disgusted look on his face about everything that just happened. Mm. And then he turns to he turns to the group. I do not like this much either, and we I was told to face. Corrupting Hill, but my father would not allow it unless we had good reason. But now I've been sent to go to the coast, and that will be my job. Mm. We will get Balamont as Pendrew. Mm. That son of a bitch. Damn. Can I roll we'll another him. hunting check to see like, where he could have gone from here? Where who could have gone from here? Balamontus. Balmontus was never here, that was just oh. his... Oh, right, this was okay. corrupting Hill entirely. Oh, oh I see, okay. Pine Meng's just being a melodrama. Ah. Uh, a melodramatic man. Quit your melodrama, man. Still plenty of time yet. Hmm. He's sacked two villages already. We're gonna... We're going to head down from here to the coast and head a lot... and head sideways. We'll be arriving at... at a small fishing village. Hopefully we'll have cut him off. Well, let's do this. Uh, Pai Meng gives one last look to the village and then gives the order to keep going. Da -da 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 -da. As the dramatic music plays. Jurassic <laughs> Park? <laughs> And then oh, the right. dinosaur pops up. <laughs> oh my Dinos. fucking god. A few more hours pass, it seems to be early afternoon by this point. And the cold grows heavy as the coast approaches. The, on the distance you can hear the sounds of wave crash, waves crashing against the rocks. And the sea is only a stone's throw away. Pai Meng kind of turns to the group and asks, "You are not from, you're not from these lands, but I'm not certain where you're from. Those clothes, those weapons. What are you exactly? Why would my father put good stock in you? No idea. Danyin isn't really sure exactly how to explain this or approach this really." My father knows a great many things that he does not permit me to. Always acting so above it all. He says that m the, the people he leads shall be in my charge one day, yet he refuses to explain all that he knows. Hmm. I suppose it's something to ask him. We have no clue either. I'm sure you don't. 
that you're joining here today was rather the coincidence, don't you think? Mm. Indeed. Work in mysterious ways. What's... I just want to get home to my wet car. What's a car? You know what a gun is? You know what a cell phone is? He's, you know never, what a... he's never mentioned what a cell phone is. You know what a plane is? What's a plane? It was his dad who knew what the plane was. N never mind. They're not all. A car is a beautiful thing. Is it drawn? Is it like a car? Horse drawn? It's a. Be it's better than that. It has horsepower. So do carts. Much more horsepower. Two horses there. Jo John. 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 Hundreds. Let's, let's not make this any more confusing, alright? Oh, you people confuse me. It's then you hear the sound of cannon fire. Pai Meng immediately stops in his tracks, looks, looks his group over, and then just gives a, sim a simple nod and sprints ahead of the caravan. You c as you come over to the crest of the hill, you can see it. A coastal village, a fishery, three sloops, real not with the British flag, firing cannon fire at a small undefended town. Oh. Boats, ca boats carrying redcoats are uh, heading towards the village. It seems that a battle has already begun. What little resistance the village can muster is firing arrows ineffectually at the free ships. We can't find a way. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, as for the rest, people are fleeing up, back up in your direction, running from the town. Meanwhile, Pai Meng and his men are the only people seemingly charging towards it, but with the numbers he had, eight men plus Pai Meng himself... He's up against far more than he could. Ch he's up. He's biting off far more than he could do with this. Well, that's time for a fight. Let's do it this way. Are you going to charge towards the village? Actually, let's just draw. Let's just do like. Help me out here. Let's just draw this. Uh, just be just down below a little bit. So, say that's the coast. Yeah. You got your water. I might want to stop soon. I'm actually feeling rather tired yeah. and soggish, mm -hmm. especially from like last night's shift. So I might. All right, we'll cut. We'll call it off here then. But as you, all, what you can see down over the crest of the hill is a town being bombarded with no way to defend itself. Ouch. Oh no! For some reason, it makes me feel like this is less of a movie or more like an action TV show. I think yes. that's pretty much the stru what the structure forces it to be. But yeah. Well, we're going to be oh. doing the honourable thing, because we know we're going to be helping out next time. <laughs> next time. Next time on Feng Shui. Where's my goddamn car?